Good morning. Good morning. So who here has a job or is currently studying right now? So I want you people to be real honest and keep your hands raising if you're doing what you love or studying what you really wanted to. I see few hands they bit through. So I guess we need to envy them. <laughs> uh, so different generation people have different perspective of life, I guess. So my parents' generation, they have very different perspective. They wanted us to study, us to work hard, just like they did. That's how they walked 10 kilometers to reach this school and study, study under the street lights, how they used to do. That's how they wanted us to study. But yes, they, they have worked incredibly hard to, uh, to support their family uh, with very, very limited resources. But now, if we don't, we don't do well in our academics, uh, they'll go like, you're, you're provided with the best education that is available. And, and and we didn't have any of this. You need to learn a lot from a lot from us. What are you doing? Go study hard. Uh, and it goes on. Every basic parent will go talk a uh, talk a lot about this. Uh, now I want to narrate a story of a of a girl named Rani, uh, who was born in early two thousands, and at the moment she was born. A virus entered into her father's uh, father's soul, and he started saying, "Life is a race. You need to keep running. If not, if, if, uh, other people will overtake you and crush you down, and you will become a doctor." And everyone was shocked. But her <coughs> crazy parents they put her put her into a good school, and when she didn't perform well in academics, you guys know what her parents' dialogues were. And, but yes, she was really fond of painting. But she wanted to join an arts arts college, but she couldn't. She couldn't join. So once she tried to convince her father that she would pursue uh, an arts, she wanted to. She wanted to be a fashion designer. First, her father was shocked, then heartbroken, and he got furious. And eventually, he started. To consider, consider it, to consider it, and he wanted to join her into arts college, but here enters an uncle, her uncle, who started, who started giving her free advice, saying that. Uh, so first he asked, Peter, what do you want to do? So she replied, she wanted to be, be a fashion designer. Oh God, it's a new opportunity. How are you able to? There's very limited resources for that. And how are you going to? And, and it's very difficult to make a career out of it. And what, what about the societal expectation? You need to earn, earn money to, to support your family in the future. So obviously, her father was convinced. So she, he put her into a MBBS college. <coughs> and after 20 years, she became a good, a good doctor. And she wanted to thank this uncle. Her, for giving her free advice and telling her she became a good doctor. And in an alternate story, where it's the same family, same girl, and same father, obviously same father, and same uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but here, <coughs> the difference is, the father started supporting her dream. And he, he, he himself, has put a lot of effort understanding the new career, all because she had the passion for it. And he also understood all the risks that, that comes with taking a new opportunity. And obviously he put her into arts college and and it was a tough tough road for her. But yes, she, she has become a fashion designer at last. And it's a happy ending. Now, what is the difference between these two stories? Can anyone answer in guesses? Okay, it's the support that her father has given her 
let's take Sanya Mirza as an example. Uh, she has become a great badminton player only because of father's support. And Vinayana Seva wouldn't be wouldn't be a wouldn't be a great basketball cricketer if his parents didn't didn't support her. We created a cricket pitch in a family farm. So it is all about support. But is the support alone enough? No. She she had to build trust, you know, build trust so that she her father could put her into a new opportunity. And also and also remember <coughs> me saying that she wanted to thank that uncle when after 20 years, after becoming a good doctor, but she never met him. So the thing is, people start giving free advices, but they never come back and ask whether how you are and how whether you are happy with your happy with your career or satisfied what you're doing. So pursue whatever you like.